Hello Space Cats and welcome back to my channel. When I was in school, I grew up learning the phrase, my very easy method just speeds up naming planets. Or in other words, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune and Pluto. There were nine planets in our solar system. Pluto was discovered in 1930, but its orbital period is 248 years. This means that it takes 248 years for Pluto to make a complete orbit around the Sun. In 2006, however, before Pluto had even made a complete orbit around the Sun since its discovery, the International Astronomical Union, or IAU for short, demoted Pluto into a dwarf planet. Pluto is not a planet. And it turns out that neither is Jupiter. In this week's video, I'm going to be telling you just why. According to the International Astronomical Union, a planet within our own solar system is defined as any celestial body which Firstly, is in orbit around the Sun, and it's neither a star nor a satellite around a planet. Secondly, it has to have enough mass so that its own gravity can pull it into a spherical shape. This is typically true of celestial bodies weighing over 500 trillion kilograms and with diameters greater than about 800 kilometers. And lastly, it has to have cleared the neighborhood around its orbit. Pluto is not a planet because it hasn't yet cleared its orbital path. It's swarming with other icy um, comets and asteroids. And what's more, just beyond the orbit of Pluto, there's another object known as Eris, which has an even larger mass than Pluto's. And it wouldn't be fair, right, to call Pluto a planet unless we also called Eris a planet too. Well, that's all very interesting, but I'm sure you already knew all about that. So let's get to the more important stuff. How does Jupiter not meet those requirements? Well, it turns out that Jupiter does not orbit around the Sun. In fact, there are no planets that really do orbit the center of their host stars. Planets and stars orbit around the common center of mass. This is what is known as a barycenter. When you have two bodies orbiting around one another, if one of those objects is much lighter than the other one, then the lighter object will tend to orbit at a point close to the center of the heavier one. This is the case, for example, of the Sun and the Earth. But if the two objects are more similar in mass and weight, then they will have an orbit around a point close to the center of the two objects. And this is known as the barycenter. It's given as the distance to object one is equal to the distance separating the two objects divided by one plus the ratio of the masses of the two objects. So for very big masses of object two and very large separations between the two objects, then the barycenter, the distance from the object one will be very large. Even though the Sun is a thousand times heavier than Jupiter, its barycenter is not inside the Sun. And it's the only planet in our solar system which is like this. Jupiter is not orbiting around the Sun, but instead it's orbiting a point 43,000 kilometers from the Sun's photosphere. Therefore, Jupiter is not a planet. Barycenters are a very useful feature to help us find exoplanets. These are planets that are orbiting around other stars. For very large planet star systems, the star will orbit around the barycenter, and this makes it appear like they're wobbling. And by looking for stars that are wobbling on the sky, astronomers can find exoplanets. So far, 782 out of 4,104 exoplanets have been found this way, about 20%. But under IAU's current definition, all of these exoplanets cannot really be called planets. So if Jupiter's not a planet, then what is it? Well, certainly it's not a dwarf planet, 
perhaps a binary star. Some people like to call Jupiter a failed star because it's made up of the same elements that make up our sun, hydrogen and helium. But it's not massive enough to um, occur fusion. And it's also a very misleading name, however, because stars like our sun form very differently than the way Jupiter did. Stars form from the collapse of giant molecular clouds, whereas Jupiter is believed to have formed by sweeping up material from the protoplanetary disk around the early sun as it orbited around it. There are also some astronomical objects known as brown dwarfs that look just like planets do, but they're not massive enough to burn hydrogen and helium, so they don't shine like our sun do. They do, however, form just like stars do, and for this reason, these objects can be called failed stars, but most certainly Jupiter cannot. So in conclusion, Jupiter is not a planet. It doesn't orbit around a star. It's not a dwarf planet or a binary star or a failed star either. Perhaps a super planet? I don't know. I'm not sure what it could be, but maybe you can let me know down below in the comments what you think that Jupiter should be called. In the meanwhile, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave me a like, share and subscribe.